Question 22. P and Q are two triangular prisms that are mathematically similar. That means all the lengths should be in the same ratio. So, for example, well, I'll carry on first. Prism P has triangle ABC as its cross section, so ABC. Prism Q has triangle DEF as its cross section, DEF. AC is 6, DF is 12. The area of the cross section for prism P is 10 centimetres squared, as it tells you. The length of prism P is 15 centimetres. Work out the volume of prism Q. Well, if the length there is 6 and that one's 12, that means you're going to double it. So that length there is going to be 30, because it's 15 times 2. So I'll write that in. 30 centimetres, that's... we'll need that. Now, because the, the ratio of lengths is 6 to 12, okay, the rule is 6 dot dot 12, that's the length ratio. Area ratio will be 6 squared to 12 squared which comes out as 36 to 144. Now that seems complicated. It's a lot easier if it's 1 to something. Okay, so if you wanted to, what you could do is cancel this down because you know it's going to be 1 to 2. 1 squared to 2 squared gives us 1 to 4 for an area ratio. Okay, that means if I take that, times it by 4, I will get the area of that. 10 centimetres times by 4 is 40 centimetres squared. So, the volume of prism Q is 40 multiplied by 30. 4 times 3 is 12, two zeros, it's all in centimetres, so it's 1200 oh, oh, centimetres cubed. Don't forget your units.